Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial, we are going to consider two more Power Query functions related to next years, next N years and previous N years. So let's do that. So first of all, we click on transform data and transform data and we reach to our Power Query. And if you remember, we are discussing these kind of functions since last few days. So I have actually created a date table where I'm doing that and the date table is also created in Power Query. And if you have missed out that video, please go ahead and watch it. It is available in the same series. Okay. Now what we have to do is now we want to create one more custom column to check within the next n years. But if you look, go ahead and look at this, my table. So I right clicked and I go to advanced data. I don't have much of the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few more years. So I'm going to make it to move to 2018 and I'm going to make it one. And I'm going to make it to 2023, 12, 31. So I have now quite a few years of data with me. Now, Power Query will show you thousand records only. So sometime you may not get it, but I think once we start scrolling, it will do show us more than thousand rows. So if I keep on scrolling, you can see that the row number is changing out here. And let's cross thousand. And then if you see, if I keep on scrolling, it do show us, but by default, uh, it's going to show thousand records only. Okay, fine. So I've came back. I came back to the first row and now let's begin. Let's begin to create columns to check in next two years. Okay. So I go ahead and create a custom column and I say, call it next and year double tap date dot is in next and years. Okay. This is what we want. Hopefully I typed everything correctly. Okay. There is a problem out here and in next and years seems correct. Let us see if it is wrong. It's going to give us some. Okay. Correct. Seems like syntax is correct and see let's scroll down and we have to scroll a bit because we have a lot of dates this time around. Or maybe I, what I'll do is this time around, let's go here and search for 2022 okay date filter in the next we are going to use that okay is in the next is in the year is in the next two years and we are going to see those dates only and this should be true okay so we have done that we taken the advantage of that and we are going to clear those filters and clear filters and power query filters can reduce the data in the main data set which you are looking into the uh, report when you go to create so be careful don't save it here okay now what we are going to do here is now we're looking for the previous one so we say in last n years and last n years would be simple we have 2018 so we can scroll down and see quickly okay so date dot is in previous n years and if we this is problematic sometime date comma two and so we are in 2021 2018 would not be but even 19 would be so as soon as we cross some three and then 65 rows we should start getting true okay so we start getting true okay so that's what we are getting true now so two years will get true so now we what we can do is we can go ahead and create if i want data to be in last n years and i want means including current year if i want a column so i would like to create that so what i'm going to do is in is in last and next two years which will include the current year also so what we are going to do is if and we are we can check is just start typing years in next two years or again i type year and in last n years and next n years okay we got this and then we'll top or and this we, we have to create we don't have in this table is date dot is in current 
is in the current year and this is the problem which we got again and let's clear it off and then do date and then close it then we will say next and last last two else so then we have not written correctly so that's why it's giving error then next and else others and i think other than 2018 we'll get true for everything uh 2021 so 22 23 everything is true for us so you will see as soon as we scroll down we should start getting true and we have to keep on scrolling keep on scrolling as long as we can scroll so what i've done i just scrolled and kept it below so that it can scroll and you can see it i keep on scrolling that okay so you will see that you know till the place we have the data everything is true okay so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new video thanks for watching this video thank you